guys, Tina Rose here, and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Craft. I'm here at the Village Zoo, and I have to tell you, I love the way that this zoo is looking. We've got all of the villagers in, and between episodes, I've been working hard. I've been naming all of the villagers. Excuse me, don't push me. I have been uh, upgrading them all. They are now all unlocked to the master level. We've got a little bit of an infestation going on though now at the zoo. We've got an iron golem infestation. We've got a cat infestation because these villagers are super happy and they keep making more friends. But <laughs> anyway, oh yes, and I have my Christmas skin on. I love being able to change my skins in Minecraft and make really super cute Christmas skins. It makes me so happy and other kinds of skins. Super, super fun. Um, this brings me into the comment of the day. Well, not the skin. The skin part doesn't bring me into the comment of the day. The village brings me into the comment of the day. This comment is from Susie. Susie is talking about the long, terrifying trip through the nether. And yes, flying through the nether always makes me super anxious. Congrats on the advancements. Thank you, Susie. I really enjoy trying to get all of the advancements and the fact that that list is now done makes me so happy. Another big shout out and thank you to Aletha for helping me finish some of the really difficult ones that I had been putting off. The village is perfect now that it's populated. It looks so good with everyone wandering about. Susie, I agree. And I got a lot of comments about the village and how it was looking and, and things like that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Let's put these on. Um, let's do this. And yeah. So like I was saying, all of these guys are now upgraded to... Uh, to the master level. So, you know, we've got our Mendo here, our, our Mending Villager. Uh, we've got Felix Fortune. Th this is this is my, my Fortune Villager. Um, yeah, we, we, we've got Lawrence the Unbreaking, our Unbreaking Villager. Thank you so much to my, um, my, my, yeah, Discord, my my supporters on on Discord. These are these are my patrons, my channel members from YouTube, my Twitch subscribers. They suggested many names for these these different villagers. Um, and of course, I'm I'm only finding ones. That, there we go. I was only finding ones that I actually named because yeah, we got patty cakes because you know patty cakes. Anyway. Um, really 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 loving how this village is looking but I think we're done with the village for now I still have I still have a little bit more I want to do in here I want to uh give give these tar cartographers wow words cartographers an actual working area maybe put a map on this wall or something so I, I still want to do some things here and over in the the uh this is the hospital. I want to do some things in the hospital to make this look a little bit more like it makes sense, but that's not for today. Today I have a different project all together. And uh, but before I do that, I want to head off to spawn because JJ and Wild have been doing some really cool stuff getting ready for Christmas, and I want to take part in that. All right, I am here at Spawn and we've got Christmas decorations. JJ and Wild have been busy putting together some things for Christmas. Uh, we've got the Kris Kringle machine, uh, which I'm going to deal with here in just a little bit. Uh, we've also out, out here, we've got some like advent calendar type things, but they don't start until the 13th and today is not the 13th. So, and uh, this one's not mine, this one's frills. Uh, but I can't start that yet. So I, we will definitely be back in our next episodes uh, dealing with, I think mine's over there, uh, the advent calendar thing. But this is the machine that I need to come here for because this is the Kris Kringle machine. And this is how we're going to get our secret Santa. We're gonna have some one of the alphas we're gonna be giving a gift to and uh, we're gonna get the name from it right here but I don't want to do this on camera because you guys will see who the name is and I don't, I don't, I don't want you to tell, I don't want you to tell, okay? Because it's a secret. So I'm gonna push the button and then I will meet you back over at the base.
All right, guys, we are back at the zoo, and uh, I want to take you down and show you what I've been working on. I've got several, <laughs> probably 12 hours donated to uh, that time lapse that you just saw, and it's going to be down here in my industrial zone. I still got a lot of work to do here to pretty this place up, but I needed a place uh, to do something super special. See, this Saturday, um, that would be December 12th, I'm going to be doing a six hour live stream uh, over on Twitch. And this is my Extra Life live stream. The goal here is to raise money for the children's hospital. Um, my local children's hospital is called Sick Kids, and they are actually working on raising money to build a new hospital, um, an updated facility. But Extra Life doesn't just give money to build hospitals. It actually provides money for extracurricular things for the kids in the hospitals, which I think is super important. I mean, it's hard enough being stuck at home but to be in a hospital where you don't have the comforts of home, you don't have, you're sick, and, and Extra Life just provides extracurricular activities and things for kids to do in the hospital to make their life a little bit more bearable. And um, this, this area here is dedicated to my uh, Extra Life fundraiser from this year. Um, this is going to be my third Extra Life live stream. And... Uh, Around the edge of this, you can see all of these signs. Each of these signs represents a donation that has been given to Extra Life for my campaign this year. And honestly, these people are amazing. Each and every person named on these, uh, these signs are wonderful and I appreciate them. No matter if it was a $1 donation or a $200 donation, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you are making a difference. You're making a difference for these kids. Our goal for this Saturday is to reach $6,000 total for the year. We are very close. We're only a few hundred dollars away from reaching the $6,000 goal uh, for this year's Extra Life. And when we reach that goal, I will be, um, I will go and I will change into a, a chicken costume. Yep. Yep, not in Minecraft. In real life, I will put on a chicken costume and I will finish the stream in a chicken costume once we reach the $6,000 goal for the live stream. So don't miss out. We are going to be uh, doing that on Twitch, like I said. Uh, Twitch TV slash Stina Rose should get you to the channel. If you're not following there, please make sure that you do. And um, yeah, that, that's going to start at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch and on Saturday, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. We're gonna be playing a game, well, at least starting off playing a game um, that we've been playing for a while called Cat Quest. It's a, it's really cute, it's really fun. It's cats and puns and it's, it's adorable and I really enjoy it. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing and we're doing it for the kids. So I hope that we will see you on Saturday for that Extra Life live stream. This is my industrial zone. Yep, things are still going well here. Uh, we've got the farmers farming, we've got the, uh, the slime sliming, we've got the creepers, uh, shh, I'm trying to talk here, shh, listen, my villager con conversion system, quiet down, <laughs> um, the melons are melaning and, uh, turning everything into bone meal. And we've got a really cute chicken farm setup. This is this is a setup that Aletha Aletha helped set up. Um, we've got chickens. They they lay their eggs. It goes into a hopper chain. It gets spit out on the slab. Uh, the the chicks they they stay there on the slab until they grow up, and then their heads end up in the water stream. So they float to the top and they go across this water stream and they drop down into the murder cat room. Yep, and and then we get. We get chicken. I think this has been recently cleaned out. Yeah, everything got put in this chest. But we get chicken. <laughs> so I love this little setup. It's very cute. And we have it hidden away here so that, you know, it, it's not bothering anybody else. <laughs> anyway, um, I have another plan, guys. Uh, I, I've already dedicated, like I said, about 12 hours into that project over there. It was a lot of fun to build. Um, and I just wanted to say I do appreciate, you know, I wanted something here to show that I appreciate all of you who have, who have participated in this fundraising event. But 
I got. I still have a build that I need to do at the zoo. You see, it's time. It's time to bring a dragon into the zoo. A dragon? A dragon in the zoo? Why, yes. Yes, we have one. We have one right over here. Um, so the plan, ouch. <laughs> and again, this, this took a long time. But this is the start of my next exhibit. That's right, we've got the villagers, and now we're going to have the end. Now my plan, and I... This isn't completely thought out, guys. I, I do most of this zoo um, without planning. Yeah, the, I, I kind of do this by the seat of my pants. I, I don't um, I do not do things in creative usually. I, I did a couple, okay, these houses, I actually planned them out of creative simply because I wanted them to match and I needed to know how big they needed to be. Uh, but this stuff, I, I don't plan any of this in creative, so we just kind of go with it. Whatever happens, happens type thing. Um, and we've got the, the dragon head. So my idea here is that we're going to have a walkway. And originally I thought we'd have like a, a bridge that would go over, but I don't think that's what I'm going to do. I think a bridge is going to look really silly going over to the dragon's mouth. I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to do a walkway this way. And maybe, maybe here I'll do like one of those um, boardwalks like I did over by the Chicken of Knowledge. But we're going to have some kind of a path that comes over here and allows us to get into the dragon's mouth. Um, once in the dragon's mouth, there's gonna be a way to get in behind this area. I'm still working it out, trying to figure out in my head how this works, uh, but we're gonna get back into that area and back in there is going to be the exhibit for the shulker and the, um, the enderman. It's gonna be my end exhibit. Not doing that today. I, I'm really out of time for this episode. Um, but yeah, that's, oh, that's the plan. But I need to know from you guys, okay? I, I'm looking at this and originally my thought was, yeah, we gotta have the dragon. It's gonna be coming out of this hill. It's gonna look really cool coming out of the hill, but I don't know. I don't know that it looks good coming out of the grass. I, I mean, it. it's, ah, it, ah, oh, okay, ow, ooh, ow, face. Plant, ouch. Okay, let's get over here. I think I can see it from over here, ow. But but yeah, here, um, coming out the hill, I don't know that it looks quite right. I've still got to terraform the hill a little bit. Um, my other thought was I could turn this hill into like an end biome type thing. I could turn it end stone with the chorus fruit growing up and maybe, I don't know, maybe even an end city built up on top or we could leave it as as the hill. And this is where I need your help. Guys, please, in the comments, um, let me know, should I leave it as grass or should I turn it to an end biome? I, I really, really would like your, your feedback on that um, because I don't know. I, I know that there's work that needs to be done. Either way, there's work that needs to be done here. I just don't know which way you guys think it should go. Uh, leave it as grass or turn it into end stone. Please, please, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but guys, ah, <laughs> I can't do things. I can't do things. We're going to come out here. I hope that you enjoyed the episode though. Make sure that you check out the other alphas. Their links are in the description. And um, yeah, let me know about this, this hill. Should it be grass? Should it be end stone? Let me know. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.